sorry. <laughs> when I first told people I was going to be staying in Calgary for a while, their reaction was either what? or. <laughs> to be honest, I was expecting a sleepy town myself, but it's actually like a big city with a small town vibe. Or is it a small town with a big city vibe? I don't know, I haven't quite figured it out yet. There's always something happening here and I'm not gonna keep talking to you about it. I'm gonna show you festivals. They never run out of them. In January, we went to Banff for the Magic Ice Festival, which is just two hours away from Calgary. The last time I visited was with Bjorn in the fall of 2015. As you can see, the lake was not yet frozen over and that's Bjorn. And now, this is what it looks like. In this magical festival, artists from around the world competed in an ice carving competition. This year's theme was Canada True North, and they had 36 hours to complete their sculptures. The result was a winter wonderland. Check out the winning team! I'm not even surprised these guys are from the Philippines. I mean, if they can do it in a tropical country, what more in a frozen one? Team Philippines! Whether you're in Banff or downtown Calgary, hot chocolate is always a good idea. We checked out this diner right by Central Memorial Park on 12th Avenue and ordered their signature drink for the YYC Hot Chocolate Festival. They called it El Diablo and it tasted exactly as it sounded, spicy and sinful. With a homemade marshmallow on top, you could either sip it or spoon it, but no matter what, enjoy it. Luke's Drug Mart is Calgary's oldest pharmacy. They sell everything from beauty products to vinyl records, Groceries on the lower level, and they've got a coffee bar where he serves specialty coffee. Four barrel coffee, to be specific, based in San Francisco. The great thing about supporting the Hot Chocolate Fest was that you also supported Calgary Meals on Wheels, a not for profit org that offers nutritious meals to the homeless, school children, and other Calgarians in need of a meal service. What'd you get? Eat Luke's Drug Mart collaborated with Dick Taylor Craft Chocolate to create this single origin drinking chocolate topped with goat cheese foam. Sourced from Dancing Goats Farm in Acme, Alberta. That goat cheese is a nice dish. That's good. Let's see if I go skating a walker. I'm not that kid. That's not me. That kid is not me. But I am this kid. I'm trying to show you guys Calgary has a festival for everything. Art installation located mm -hmm. on a plus 15. What's a plus 15? It's a bridge that is 15 meters above the ground and it connects one building to the other so that you don't freeze your butt off. This may or may not be one of the installations. Otherwise, I don't like it. It's so scary. Oh, wait. They left. Oh, this one left too. Just kidding. I'd be so freaked out if like this <laughs> When one festival wraps up, another is presented to us And today, we're checking out The most haunted building in Calgary But apart from that, we're also checking out the Big Taste The annual foodie festival of YYC There are over 95 restaurants participating this year By offering prefix menus to hungry folks like us <laughs> Yay! <laughs> are you excited? Yes Good job. So how is it? <laughs> nope, I'm taking the stuff on the side of your mouth. Thank you, sister. This is ridiculous. For $15, I'd say this was definitely a great deal. I don't hear you. 
Is that good? This festival may have come to a close already, but that just means we're gonna be opening the door to another festival pretty soon. Hey, you wanna say it with me? And that's all for this week. My name is Diane. Hear me. Why? <laughs> Why?